Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome, Murphy. So yeah, I wanted to, uh, I guess, warm up a little bit with PSO since I forgot that the Halloween event is only basically like two weeks versus like four weeks. I think I'd do a bonus session of uh, PSO at some point. But also welcome, Chris. So I'm just looking at what the weekly bonuses are, what the quests are. I can see it's drop right up. N mop up Operation 4, new Mop up Operation 1. If Chant wanted to try something different briefly, we could do blue ID on both in theory. The first one giving Heaven Striker, the other one giving a limiter chance. Then if Chant wants to do anything after that, it's up to them. Let's go ahead and boot into PSO. <clears throat> Not feeling like super at my best at the moment, so I don't really want to push another game today. Oh no, the update. I should have updated before stream. My bad. It's almost done at least. Oh boy, there is a lot of updates here. Yeah, one thing I want to- I'm going to save it for tomorrow, but the Scarlet Realm quest I do want to try out at some point. Not literally right now, but in the future. Probably after we do our guide. Since I do want to see what the updates are, see if they're more fun. We're continuing with the Yuzo Kozuhiro soundtrack marathon. We're now in Super Adventure Island. I'll bring in a blue ID character. Haven't used the Hunu roll in a while. Eventually, I need to get levels on my uh, Rock Seal, but I think that'll happen after we do challenge mode stuff. I think next year we're gonna set out some early months just to set aside for challenge mode. Because I keep putting it off. But honestly... As long as I don't overdo it in December, I think we could go right into it in like, end of January. I'm gonna go ahead and make the game in episode 1. It is just drop rate up, so we're not missing too much here. I noticed her mag is gone. I think I was loaning it out. Hopefully I can still grab it from the bank. Otherwise I have to go get it. Oh. Still on the other character. Hmm. This should still be fine for now. Not my most <clears throat> ideal setup ever, but better than nothing. I think I could correct it with what I have here. How far was she off? Oh, just by two. So sad. Oh well. I'll wear this for now. Anyway, come join block two. We're gonna start off with some... Just a quick mop-up Operation 4. It's not like a super long quest, so... It should be fairly easy to go through, which is Ruins. I was not keeping track of the naming system. New mop Operation 1 is just Astarks. mop Operation 4 is kind of like the second or third best, I forget offhand, for uh, Deldies, which drop Heaven Striker on Blue ID. It's not really like a good spread needle quest, because the, the purple ones are the ones that are lower in number in that quest. I wish they just had like three more purples, it would have been worth it. I mean, I'm going to be bringing in a character with buffs, so feel free to bring in whatever. If you want to play cast human. Force might be a little rough, unless we get more melee. So yeah, I'm basically just going to bring in the classics, like Last Swan. If there's anybody else that wants to join in, let us know. More than welcome to join. 
Oh, I forgot to do the weapon check. Anything fun in here today? Nope. Oh, Murphy will be joining. Thank you, Murphy. I figure we almost never do episode one stuff anymore. Funny enough, I feel like we've done way more episode two than episode one across the last uh, few sessions. Yeah, I think right now my phone Newman, my static thick character, has my new world mag. I forgot I didn't have two. And then I realized, oh, it's on the other phone Newman as well. 95% of our episode one stuff has been TTF. Very true. Yeah, like we, we it's all a brief resurgence for like anniversary event. We we very briefly touched it. But honestly, before then, we didn't really play it that much. There are some hunts worth doing in Episode 1. And it's very easy for levels. It's just when we're kind of at the point of the game that we're at. We're not looking for, like, starter items. I figured we'd do something a little gimmicky. Terrell's Ego and probably Rescue from Regal. If I had to guess which one you were trying to think of. Because that was back when we were doing Purple AD. Or unless you mean Endless. Yeah, we do do Endless Yellow ID. I do like that. Yeah, we only did like one or two Endless across like our many sessions. I want to get back into those. Those are the kinds of things I'll do regardless of whatever the, the type is. If it's Rare Monster, it's not like I'm seeing Rare Monster anyway, so it doesn't really impact my runs at all. <laughs> I might as well just see it as no bonus. Nope, the robots are out. I believe it's here. There we go, get that XP and Rare bonus up while we're here. See how we feel about this quest. I think we'll be fine with uh, a few death robots. Some minor buffs. Yeah, see that purple one is the one that would normally drop a spread needle. There's more regular uh, Arlens than Merlins. I see the claws coming out. There we go. Deldies are the things that could get Heaven Striker. It would be funny if we did get it on stream. I don't think we've gotten an episode one ruins uh, Heaven Striker before on stream. No, I said force would be awkward, but like there are so many claws at the beginning of this area. <laughs> Missing the force. Oops. Does a controller fail? Gonna adjust my sensitivity on it again in a moment. Yeah, I had this weird bug where basically it just was like not saving all of my settings in uh, Joydiki. I'm not sure when that started, or if that's always been a thing. But I can tell when it's at 0%. I no longer think it's a player input error. I'm like, no, it actually is just, it's too sensitive. Needed to go down a little bit. Bullied. Let me 
some items with heal. Hmm. Double doors open. Our first choice in the map. I kind of remember this quest, but I don't remember what this is. I like the ball of light, so I can see a laser gate on the other side. I'll let, I'll let the team go open that up. Is this like a... I don't remember what this is. Is this like a teleport? Is that an unarmed raw cast? That's General Peaches. I think they were messing around with Photon Claw. Oh, it adds to the timer. That's why I don't remember what that does, because we've never played this quest outside of the uh, RVR. It's so ri I I usually avoid uh, those kinds of things like the plague. So we did all that just to go here. So. Oh, sorry, sacred duster. Yeah. So if it's the quest is not an RBR, this would normally have a timer. So that's why it's like kind of awkward to recommend quests for people, especially for newcomers. I don't know why he's clawing the claws. I guess he felt like he was doing a pun. I mean, Spread Noodle is obviously a lot better. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I don't really care. Goodbye, these random enemies. There are a hilarious... Like, I'm going to check the uh, claw count. Is it like 50 or something? That's a TP weapon you have. Oh, we can fix that. I mean, ideally, Heaven Striker will drop. That, that'll be the damage maker. Goodbye, Indie Bell Rose. Washing Machine only has enemy downs. Oof. There's two switches here. I'll hit both. Paramino will join next game. Nice, nice. So I guess if we had to redo this quest, there are a lot of switches. <clears throat> so it looks like this would open it up for telepiping. So ideally, I imagine we don't go to the top one, unless this time it does open something. So I just don't remember the map layout. Okay, so it was this door that opened. In my defense, it was a 50-50 guess, because I, I couldn't remember which one was the real door. So... Weird choice for a quest, but you know, it's... Sega team, who knows? I was gonna say, do you want me to just give you a weapon for the next area? And realize you're le legitimately only using claw, not even like a spray needle. Hmm, photon drop. Well, I guess I got rewarded for playing today. Now nah, I'll let the secret duster keep going, damn. Log in PD, log out, true. Hope you're new and well, General Peaches and a bear meter. At least my level's high enough that I don't need to have my proper mag equipped. Hit max stats. That is very annoying when you don't have enough accuracy. The claws do look nice on me. I was gonna say... What would be like a real weapon is if you had a uh... Oh, brain's not processing. Thinking. Loading. Now downloading. Uh, why do I not remember the name of the weapon that I barely used? It'll process eventually. We, we call this being under the weather. The classic ranger, hunter, dagger. No. Spaceship, spaceship grinds. 
Yeah, DLS, thank you. Daylight Scar. Oh, I'm not going in this room. Screw this room. Just a timer room? I don't think so. I don't remember it because I barely use it. I started using it a little more last time. I picked up a couple of them during the event, which was kind of funny because I wasn't going for them. I'm sure there are people that were like actively grinding episode two. And then I got it in episode four while casually playing and I'm like, oh. Sure, I was going for Galatine, but I guess that worked. Yeah, I think overall the event went okay. I mean, obviously, you know, there's going to be a lot of disagreement on the point system and how it was handled with the players. But uh, in terms of item drops, I actually got basically everything other than, like, Ignition Cloak. Is that it? Is that the only one I didn't get? I think so. I got every other rare, I'm pretty sure. I got Spread Needle, Frozen Shooters... Including upgrades on Frozen Shooter. Got Daylight Scar. We finally got a Cannon Rouge. Got an X Cal. Got a Galatine. Red Ring. I guess I didn't get Parasitic Gene Flow, I guess. Didn't get anything you're looking for, General Peaches. That's a shame. Well, hopefully, we can fix that if we end up playing together on stream. But we went on a. Uh, Marathon. <laughs> you didn't expect it because you were farming hard to get drops. Yeah, I went in with the mindset of, I'm just here for badges. And I just happen to get things while I'm there. And then my other trick was to not bother with any rare monster hunts. And I ended up getting basically everything. Oh, I was gonna say, you know what? If you were going for Heaven Punisher, like, actually legit and not troll, I I would believe it. I would believe you didn't get it. <laughs> well, like, I was about to say, so we saw a lot of blue ID Heaven Punisher runs. Chris has found Chris. Oh, actually, it's me. Murphy has found Chris. I did one yellow blue Terrells. Legitimately trying to get... Been punished for Psycho One. Yeah, we went for a couple of Psycho One runs, but they they were not done in earnest. I guess we technically did, we did more Seal J Sword runs than we did uh, Psycho One. We had a lot of like off chance Psycho One runs, but they weren't like dedicated runs. You know, like you're you're one of fun ofs from like Sorcerer and TTF kind of things, or like casual BS on the way there. Oh, we're almost done with the soundtrack. Yeah, I've learned to just not care about those items. Improve quality of life. Only three to four mil lilies? That sounds really low. That's very unfortunate if that's all you saw during the event. We saw, like, five or six just from TTF. Let alone when we were doing the other quests. Get out of here, Deldies. Oh, those are really short sounds. That allegedly comprised the song in this. Uh, well, let's go to the next soundtrack. So we're going to go to Eye of the Beholder next. Didn't see any basic on the IDs that mattered. Oof. I mean, that's always the way of uh, Rare Enemy, sadly. We got a hilarious number of uh, Episode 2 Lilies. <clears throat> that were rare. Although, funny enough, I don't think I saw a rare Hildebear episode 2, despite how many uh, numerous, numerous times we did episode 2. 
Yeah, we we ran literally everything, Peaches. So we we were trying to keep the point totals high, so we did a lot of CCA, seabed, then the random quests. Tower. We did a lot of tower. I actually got a V502 from tower, and I'm like, you know what? I'll consider that a win. That's all you can ask for, honestly, in tower. Yeah, Murphy got two. He had a very, very good haul overall. Yeah, we had Hell Cleave help us with a couple of runs. And honestly, I was actually having fun with Tower. I'm kind of sad that quest is gone. As I said before, that was like one of the only times I actually genuinely had fun in Tower. Every other time is just like really long walks or like nonsense spawns or just like too many enemies at once of like the charging variety, which just gets really annoying after a while. But if you don't have like the perfect weapon to deal with them, they just get out of control. Kind of unfortunate. Oh. That was the whole mission. Oh, I must have thought this at 27. I got my hopes up for a second. Fun and Tower do not go together. That was like one of the only quests I felt like genuinely I had fun, especially the Force. I had fun as a Force because I could shut down the entire quest. I felt like I had never had more control as a force in that quest compared to any other quest in the game. Like, there were like three waves total I didn't have control over. And as long as I had somebody to cover that position, it was like easy, easy clears. We're doing RBR. Uh, yes, we're kind of messing around with RBR. I'm not going to do West Tower because I did not really care about that quest. Plus, it does CCA for some reason in the beginning. I don't really want to go through CCA. i am be real with you, chat. I just... We, we did enough during the event and we didn't get anything. We did try to get Psycho 1 in CCA. It just didn't work out. And then it was like, you know what? This quest is just not worth running. <laughs> the amount of value I get from the ult items is so much lower than every other quest on this list. At least if I'm going for like Ubers, quote unquote, they're, they're, you know, I can at least get like V502 from Tower. And honestly, I thought CCA was harder than the Tower Quest. The Tower Quest was kind of free. Which is very rare. I normally find it to be inverse, but it is what it is. Um, do I switch my character? I don't have to. So let's go to episode four. So we're gonna continue with surface hunting. So the other quest was okay. Yeah, tower quest it was mostly fine. It, it was a knowledge check, but it was like when you had the knowledge, it felt a lot more fair. I don't think it was a quest I could solo still, which kind of sucks. But... Anything else was okay about the quest. Yeah, like, surprise Del Beaters was annoying in the, um, uh, Epsilon room. The, the oops all ill gill around you is not the worst thing ever. As long as somebody has a freeze trap, it's free. No freeze trap, that, that spawn is pretty terrible. I'm gonna spin in circles for a bit. Yeah, it in it, it the other thing that helped with it is the quest also felt fine. Double episode. Oh. Yeah, I mean as a force I was basically immune to Epsilon, so I didn't care about those as much. Grip washing machine.
I wish she just like glides back up. <laughs> like, listen, we're we're just gonna do the rotate tool real quick. Uh oh, the Chris Saber has dropped. Yeah, we we did we did the hard grind. We in fact, I don't even think we did forest outside of the first day just to show the quest off, and then literally the last day of the event or something, or second last day because they extended it. So we we were doing pretty well on the point, and then after a while, it just didn't matter because it was clear that only people were abusing forest. I had a lot of fun doing um, the different episode four ones. So we did a mix of uh, surface and underground. Although underground being able to try sky ID and it was nice. So we we did lean on that one a bit heavy, but that's also just because it was like a new. It was a new hunt. Like it literally did not exist before that event. On many 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 interpretations of that sentence. We'll get Chris a minute to log back in. And we'll get started. The only way to avoid forest spam is to remove Heaven Punisher from Hilda Tor. I don't think they'll ever do it, sadly. Honestly, we did it for we did it for a little bit for just for a couple frozen shooters. I think it's fine. It's not something we're gonna hard grind for like the whole event, but we did it for like a day. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. Yeah, people are trying to theorize what would work. Oh, we're waiting for pink. I think I think some things that hurt it is that they did fix some of the randomized quests, like kinda late into the thing. Pop up preparation. Is it one? Hold on. I'm like second guessing myself. It was new mop up, right? I'm not hallucinating. Okay, it is new mop up. There, there are so many extermination quests. I always find myself guessing. I'm like, it wasn't War of Limits, right? War of Limits one would be preferred for the Astark, but whatever. Oh no, we, we, we were loaded. We, we got I think like four or five red rings for the group. I think one parasitic gene flow. It was uh, quite an event. But again, it's because we're not we're not grinding Ubers. We just do the standard quests. Oh, only a couple times? Yeah, you gotta do it for a little bit. The persistence is real. Yeah, we'll probably end up doing some TTF and uh, PGF. My other rule of thumb is it doesn't matter what the bonuses of the week are. It might in influence our initial hunt a little bit, but ultimately we're still going to end up doing the classics. You just got to play to the odds. If you play it enough times, it will drop. Like we did, uh, I don't know, like on average, like two, three... TTFs per stream, right? And then we did that across four weeks. So across like 25 or 26 attempts at TTF, we got five red rings, I think? Maybe upwards of 30, because I did some off-stream one. Yeah, PSL is one of those games where you're always going to have a dry spell. Oh, there's Hell Cleave. Unless you're gonna go for super dumb RNG. Yeah, I was like, the one that I was kind of shocked at was Cannon Rouge. Yeah, I think we got like a 25 or a 20 hit Frozen Shooter. Oh, we never went for Slicer Fanatic. Oh, that was something we should have done. Oh, well. We, we technically did like one or two quests for it, but oh, well. 
Yeah, I was gonna say we did like a couple, but it like it just didn't happen. Because technically it would have dropped when we were doing our uh, episode four stuff. Yeah, Cannon Rouge was like really stubborn. Cannon Rouge was something we spent like two days on, and like I legitimately could not get it to drop. It was so sad. But we we got like we got like a really poorly statted one, so I'm like, I guess technically we did eventually get one. It was basically all zeroed. Nothing too exciting. Another batch of mags almost done. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think the problem more with episode four is that. It kind of was like all the quests that we'd already been running all the time. So those quests didn't really feel all that fresh, even though they were good. It's just like those are like one of the only quests that we ran like the entire time prior to the event. And I'm like, oh, do I really want to do the standard boss rush quest split into pieces? And eventually we just went back to the boss rush quest. Because for the most part, we didn't go for anything Greta Bulu related, so I didn't go for Limiter, for example. I'm like, I'm just gonna wait for Christmas for that, if we're gonna do it at all. Already up two PDs. I got rewarded for logging in today, apparently. Let's hopefully we could get the rest of the group rewarded. And ideally with a limiter instead. This year's Christmas will give you another Cannon Rouge? Maybe. I mean, I usually play Christmas Fiasco 4. Uh, technically, I could do Viridian again this year. Or we'll do Cookie Quest at some point. Nice level up. Yeah, sometimes we'll just full clear for the XP. As a reminder, there is a healing circle beyond the gate once we kill these. So if you do want to refresh traps, you're able to. Yeah, we actually got some pretty good presents last year. I was kind of surprised. Like, that's how we ended up with the 60 hit vice. Oh, nobody put a fireball down. Rip. Goodbye, PD chances. Oh, did you? I didn't see. On my on my thing, they were still targetable briefly. I'm just glad it wasn't like the year before. Chat remembers, I was getting like hard tilted by the Christmas gifts two years ago. I had so many paint and I'm like, listen, I'm I'm not going to use this. And it's like, listen, you want more blue paint. I think you want blue paint. I think you really want blue paint. Oh, there we go. There's the PD. I'm like, no, I don't want paint. I want something other than paint, please. say Hell Cleave gifted himself on Christmas. That's a good sign. Chat went over there. Maybe there's some materials. Oh, by the way, this is Eye of the Beholder. Still. For Sega CD, apparently. Official Advanced Dungeons & Dragons CD game. Oh, well, that that was just super rude. Appar apparently, there's a lot of traps near me as I just wombo comboed into paralysis. 
know what? I'll burn some money. Yeah, we could probably play for like another hour, hour and a half. So we might do like one more of these quests, then we might transition over to TTF or something. Ooh, a 75 hit charge ray gun, nice. I'm gonna say any lucky limiters for people playing today, let's find out. Yeah, the other thing I was trying to think about, and I'll take Hellcleave's opinion, I was trying to figure out in order, now that all the item changes have come in, what are the best IDs in order for TTF and um, Respective Tomorrow. I was going back and forth on that earlier today. Uh, not where I thought. Especially with the whole removal of the 101 that definitely threw off my order. For me, before there was a clear order. Now I'm like, oh, there's no V101. Hmm. Still say same overall, but what is the order? I'm imagining Viridian's still up there. Despite the V101 loss, just due to L and K. Honestly, I lowered green. Like, where would you place green in particular help leave in comparison to, like, red and white? Because I, I feel like green, for the most part, fell off, unless I'm forgetting, like, their one item on Worm. Red, white, I'd say are third and fourth. Okay, so what are you putting in second? You still need green as second, interesting. Very interesting. Because for me, the big appeal for green ID was easy V101 and then like one boss drop, but without V101, I'm like, there's kind of nothing? Yeah, I was on the fence if I wanted Sky or, or uh, White as the last place one. Just because they're kind of... They're kind of specific. I don't know. So I'm assuming I'm assuming Sky is fifth is last place for Help Leave based off of those ratings. Yeah, I I actually like red ID more than green ID now. But oh, there's another switch. For me, I, I would have actually gone Viridian Red, uh green White Sky. I feel like there's just a lot- oh, it's a dead end. That sucks. See, I thought this was the path because it didn't show me, but dead end. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, but what's the other stuff? That's what I'm saying. I I wasn't excited by any other changes. Because they, they don't have V101. Holy Ray is okay. But like... From the standpoint of... Uh, Buh, 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 buh. Like red ID. Yeah, blue Donna huh, indeed. I don't know where the quest wants me to go. I'm assuming really far backwards at this point. Which is weird. I don't know why they would do this. Healing ring over here. Good to know. So we're still missing a switch because I see a laser gate. Unless it just opened up the one that's over here. Oh, you found it? Nice. Yeah, the reason being is, like, 
from the standpoint of oh i got all the traps from the standpoint of like red id i just found like i could get a lot more casual rare chances than green id does now And if I remember correctly, Red ID gets like the free, like the the free better checks uh, in Ruins as well. So even if you don't like full enemy clear, I just thought it was better because I'm always gonna slime dupe when I play, which is gonna gonna raise it up more often than not because it's like that's one of the easiest checks to do, and I have nothing better to do with my time. But even then, it's like I think I valued the Red ID spread needle chance as well as uh just their casual drops because both of them get a uh, casual uber anyway from uh sorcerer from what i remember the other thing we were kind of manipulating is that the basic enemies can also drop discas on some of the ids redre is canabrush from the buddha enemy indeed they do we're talking about uh ttf though So for TTF, like when I'm casually clearing all the way through, you know, the Chaos Springer, if I want to kill multiple, I can. But even just casually going through, I'm forced to get just, I feel better rares, unless I really value Kasami Bracer. Which I, I honestly don't. Yeah, the Babuda has dropped the, uh, Cannon Rouge. Okay, there we go. Some PDs are dropping finally. It's like I was I was torn for a while because I wanted to say green was second and then like I was playing it during the event and I'm like honestly I'm just really not that impressed outside of Holy Ray after the nerf like it was good don't get me wrong but like I felt like a lot of the value was that V101 I don't think there were a lot of casual drops that occurred there unless we're weighing Frozen Shooter more heavily for TTF I guess it's kind of fair Yeah, I think Red ID also gets heavenly HPs, which is like the world's freest PD. <sighs> I saw an Astark die, I heard the rare sound, and then I got Maguid, because it was an Astark, or because it was a zoo that died at the same time. It's a weird quest. You know what, I'll go pick up the materials that aren't that important. Oh no, it got super weird, camera-wise. Don't worry about that. That was PSO doing PSO things. It was like, whoop! <laughs> oh, I almost leveled. Um... Yeah, let me check one thing before we go. I'm now looking at the drop charts. Because I, I still think... I still think green might be... I don't know. As I said before, I was kind of looking over the drop charts the other day again, and as well as this morning, and I was like, I don't know if I really like green ID anymore. Like, it gets the Psycho one, but so does red ID. Monkey King Bar is decent for a Chaos Bringer. You know, free Heavenly Arms if you want to do the Indie Bellwork cleanup. But the difference is that random Arlins give Disco Brave Man, which is really easy to do if you Confuse Trap while leaving. And I, I think people usually value Disco Brave Man pretty heavily. That's why I was kind of weighing for Red ID more. I guess it's more how much value do I think Frozen Shooter has over the other multiple chances of Red ID to get something useful. Take one of these. What we doing next? Uh, I'm assuming maybe some TTF. Yeah, I see, I would have put green second before the changes, but like now I'm kind of like putting it either third or fourth. Like, honestly, 
I think it's just one of the IDs I don't care about anymore. Unless I really want a heavenly arm, you know, then I'll then I'll weight it a bit higher. I could potentially make the game as a Huka Seal. I've been meaning to play her a bit more. We could talk about the glory of Red ID. Honestly, for me, I think Red ID might be my second place one. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get opinions on it, because, you know, it's still kind of up in the open. Red ID is probably the only one where it's more monster-focused, I guess. Did I swap to someone stronger for TTF? Eh, it'll probably be fun. Oh, she still has the Dark Flow equipped? Nice. Love when I don't have to change equipment. So, like, it definitely loses in Forest, but I think Red ID wins in, like, every other area. Like, pretty, pretty hard. The fact that I could just randomly get Red Sword and Lapis Cannon is kind of funny. I don't think I'll ever get Sange in a serious run. Heavenly HP is about the best you could really hope for for some of these IDs now. Because you're not real because orange and yellow are not really TTF IDs, which are the only ones that would really give value at this point in mines. That's just kind of a wash for mines now. Mines just kind of terrible. We just try to escape really quickly unless we're wet ID. But yeah, cycle wand, spread needle, disco brave man. Mm-mm-mm. We'll see what chat just said. I do not know the temptation that is dark flow. Oh, it's it's something. Yeah, like, see, like, these Disco the Brave Mans, like, some of these I just pick up by just doing TTF, which is hilarious. I'm like, wait, I could Disco the Brave Man run in my TTF? Okay, let's go identify this, I guess. Look, oh, I wish I had Machine Dark. That would have been perfect. So, the one thing I will say is it does change how TTF is played a little bit. Oh, was that the final song? Red ID plays TTF a little differently than some of the other IDs, so I'm just going to make note before we go deeply into this and I switch the soundtrack. Is that you want to kill the basic Arlins when we get to Ruins. Normally we ignore those, but I highly, highly recommend you kill them because those... Can't find them. Can't find the game gauge here, sadly, because those actually drop disc of brave man. So that even includes the Arlins in the first room. So Chad, if you could just quickly kill the claws, I could probably clean up the Arlins while the team does other things. Wait, it said Batman returns. Oh, sound management for it. Ah, uh, I guess I'll play it. Like, wait a minute, he didn't do the Batman Return soundtrack. <laughs> Whatever, it's on the list. I might as well just listen to it. Oh. Um. Let me put this one away. I just realized I have a better one equipped currently for what I wanted to do. So like one of these Disco Brave Man, I just got by playing Red ID in TTF, which is really funny. <laughs> it's like, it's already a good quest, but just randomly getting that is just completely insane. All right. Let me double check. There's nothing else I'm forgetting about early forest. I mean, obviously we'll kill the other ones, but I don't I mean, we could also kill the Bartles. Hmm. Yeah, I might stick around to kill the Bartles for more Disco Brain Man. Again, Red ID is probably the most monster heavy of kills, other than maybe White ID. So if you see Bartles chat, I'm going in. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to confuse trap rooms that most people just leave alone. I might lose like a couple seconds in the run, but I'm gonna get like 15 item checks that are real. So I'd rather just kind of lose that time there, to be honest. 
Yeah, like, see these Bardols here? They need to die. I'll do some box checks since I'm here. I just want to make sure I said Bartle, not Barble, right? It is Bartle. Okay. So cleaning those up is just free Disco Brain Man checks, which you do anyway on Viridian. It's not really all that different. As long as I'm not like too far behind here. And again, that's mostly just because I paused. I would have been more synced up with the team. I regen health. I'm going to be so sad. And the other thing that Red ID really wants to do, you want to slime dupe. If you don't slime dupe with Red ID, you're definitely missing out. So I'm going to slime dupe every room if I can. Oh, they're slightly too slow. Ooh, I have low healing. That's gonna be interesting. Note to self, collect healing at some point. I apparently did not go back to the store. I saw only three trimates. I'm assuming I have some stars, so it shouldn't be the worst ever. That is not what I wanted to do. That really sucks. I thought it was in the weapon menu. Alright, let's do some slime dupes. One, two, three. I didn't see them dupe on my screen. I wonder if I wonder if desync happened. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Again, if chat just stays and cleans up the rooms, we'll get chances at red swords. So I'm gonna go on ahead. I basically just need to make sure the lily dies. And then team can clean up the final rooms. Try this again. One, two, three. Slime dupe time. Aw, oh, no rare slime. But hey, let's get some PDs while we're waiting. I have escaped all six stars. Uh, six stars should get me through. Not too bad. Pipe up. I'll use Jaya just for you, team. Oh, I got invincibility this time. Nice. So yeah, so overall we end up with like 30 or so chances of Disco Brave Man and TTF, which I'm going to say is kind of silly that you have that many chances. Um, Guild Chicks drop a Heart of item, so technically we can also kill all the Guild Chicks. I'll stay behind for the team. So team could continue to clear, although I would appreciate any debuffs. <laughs> So every single one of these enemies is a heart of item if you want it. As I said before, red has like an insane amount of value, which is why I think it's my number two at least. Just even just casual enemies, it's just value for no reason. Welcome Elk, hope you're doing well. Yeah, with a confused trap, you can actually clear this pretty quickly while you're waiting. Good enough. I don't have to do a full clear here, but I'll still do at least two waves. That way I'm not like too terribly far behind the rest of the group. Yeah, you see, there's they're just entering the door. So timing wise, it's free kills for me anyway, because otherwise I'd just be waiting. 
Stick a few strap down, maybe I'll get a kill. Ooh. Team did not burst the Sinnoh Red, that's awkward. That's okay. We'll get through. Might as well shoot just in case Bazooka wasn't ready. Uh... Oh. I was gonna say, you're it's on you, I have the thing I need for it. I'll wave to the chat. <laughs> Someone's gotta get it. I apparently don't have my uh, twin blaze on this character. Oops. So as I said before, I'll need assistance in the next ruins room. Damage, which is fine. I need to take damage at some point anyway. Ideally, when this thing pops, I'm gonna disca. Oh, it's untargetable. No, I got trolled. I actually got trolled there. Wow. Heartbreak chat. I remembered to actually have disca out to drain off the panels, but it wasn't targetable. Actually, BS. Whatever. So sad. I definitely got cheated. I'll take a dime eight for sure. I will definitely take a star. And I'll even get a try mate. Oh, never mind, just a mate. Alright, so this room I'm gonna need assistance on. So after basically after you kill the Darkbringer. If they get confused, trapped, or frozen, that would help a lot. And then somebody could continue onwards. And then I just need to make sure that these guys die. Ooh, thank you for the freeze. That was clutch. Yeah, see, these are our Disco Brave Man chances, so I'm definitely going to kill them. And now we just leave. That's the only difference with the clear. We take those extra kills. Definitely gonna stay for a little bit just to kill some of them. And I need to get like every possible kill, but at least getting some of those. So we got 4, 8, 12, 16, 21, 25 chances to disco Rayman. And see, we got one. I mean, that, that's a lot of chances, chat. It's up to us if we want to go as far as uh, Chaos Bringer. Chaos Bringer is Spread Needle. For us, it's like optional. Like we we do the sorcerer one because it's cheesy, not because it's like efficient. But in theory, we could also just go for the chaos bringer here. There's three chances of spread needle. I'm gonna put a freeze trap here. I detonated too early. That's unfortunate. Sadly, nothing dropped. We did get one disco. So yeah, red's a bit more enemy heavy than I would say the other quests are. Like, if you want it to be very enemy heavy, you can. But like, just staying a couple seconds to kill an Arlen or two for Disco Brayman is like honestly nothing. Is that a monolith? Okay, we're putting ourselves in sudden death mode. 
That's gonna be fun. My chat, I love living with H 8 HP. I swear if I get rested, I'm gonna be so tilted later. I'm like, let me die if I die. Got a couple. Misaimed because I was scared of the spinner. I need to stay sort of near the top half of the arena. Let chat take out the sniper. If I'm feeling really ballsy. I'll switch to Dark Blow here. <laughs> just to slap the spinner, I mean, not just to hit the next phase. But anyway, we're set up for the next phase. Ooh, I'm behind them slightly. That is a little too far forward. That actually messes me up. That's unfortunate. On the plus side, I might be able to Dark Flow here. Yeah, my bad. I thought it was on the other side of the thing. That's what I get for not playing TTF recently. Oh, it did some damage. for sure here. Oh, GG to the boss. <laughs> Dramatic music ensues. Hopefully you're doing well, Elk. I'm gonna hold forward to be able to do a bazillion damage. Still regen HP. Nice, nice. That was big damage. It's almost dead. Oh, so close. So close. I know. Just off by a little bit of ATP. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Just someone on Diablo. Nice, nice. I'm assuming you mean Diablo 4. My gift to me, I'm glad. How am I doing? I feel kind of bad today, honestly. I don't think today's gonna be a long stream. I feel congested. You actually dodged the blazers? Nice. So yeah, we got to get Brain Man out of it. Like, more than you could say for most runs of TTO. So yeah, red is very enemy heavy. I think as long as you have cooperation, it's pretty good. I would say in like a casual setting, red ID definitely goes down in value. Like if, if I was doing free runs of this versus like we're on call, I would definitely probably rate it third or fourth. But on call, whenever I have somebody like just hard assisting me on certain rooms, it goes pretty quick. In particular, caves is basically zero time loss just because you have to wait. Like it has built in waiting mechanisms. And even mines, to an extent, has built-in mechanisms. Oh, I have on this character for some reason. So you you could kill at least one wave of guild chicks without losing any time, because you just confuse trap them and walk away. Just zero time loss. So I think there's like a lot of easy opportunities for good items. But am I tapped on badges? Damn. <laughs> right, Dad? Damn. Well, I guess I can't put that away. But I should probably go get better healing items. Yeah, exactly. The force weight on the shark. And that also means that those other kills in caves go up in value, right? Because, like, you're waiting there anyway. So if you're killing the Melqueaks in the different rooms, which I think you automatically do anyway as part of it, you just get Red Sword. I do like a lot. So I'm definitely pro red. Yeah, like exactly. As long as one person is actually doing the quest, <laughs> then everybody else can take their time killing everything else. We there just has to be like a silent agreement of who it will be. Yeah, because if you're if you're doing that and then going in the next room, yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of time. 
that, that's a good point for Murphy to bring up in case people are just listening in and don't understand the, uh, the wait time. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of Red ID now. I'm like, all this value. I'm like, I even get a heart of item in TTF. I get two heart of items in TTF while getting easy rares. Like, okay. Value. No worries, Murphy. So yeah, the odds are that probably within three or four TTFs, someone will inevitably get a Disco Brave Man for themselves, let alone the group drops. It's it's almost every single run will be a, Bra a Disco Brave Man if we farm it correctly. Because you have to think, if it's like normally like what, one, 1 in 200 and you're playing with any kind of rare up or anything else that improves it, then essentially you have about 25 to 30 chances of it times 4, so you have 120 total chances between all players to see one. It's pretty good odds, chat, that you'll probably see it. It's pretty good odds. Like a coin toss for the most part at that point. Yeah. And then the other thing I guess we haven't talked about is like RT. What are what are the good RT IDs? Like we normally do a lot of uh, blue and yellow. I don't know if that necessarily makes them the best. I haven't analyzed like every single drop. I definitely think people sleep on the yellow box drops in that quest because I've gotten like nothing but value from those box drops. <laughs> and I will bring it up every time we play that of how good the box drops are on yellow ID. Um. But yeah. Excuse me. I definitely think with Galatine, you know, that definitely bumps up uh, Yellow ID's overall value no matter what, just because that item is so good by itself. I'm not sure I'm 100% sold on Blue ID. Blue ID has, like, really good seabed. So I guess if we're doing, like, free bed into RT, I'd rate Blue ID higher. But if all we're doing is RT, I think I'd like yellow more. So I guess I guess uh, for boss run, blue ID position changes depending on the, the quest or lack thereof. Welcome back, Murphy. I think Viridian was actually not bad. I used to think it was the worst one of the bunch, but then it was like, you know, I'm looking at the rare list again and I'm like... I don't think it is anymore. I think it's actually pretty good. I don't know if I rated above Galatine, but it's nice. So it's just kind of like one of those things I was debating on like to put an order in the guide. So I might eventually put it in the guide. So I might revisit that section for the, the final part of the guide, since that's something I've been toying with. <sighs> Wish this guy didn't follow me. It's kind of annoying that he did. Stopping me from turning. Okay, thank you, chat, for the Confused Trap and the debuffs. That's actually huge. Uh, and I could kill the one that spawns here. chat cleans this one up, I'll be basically with the team. Eh, whatever. I got time to dark flow. Yeah, I'd rather do this than make the team wait for a few seconds. Oh, I thought I got the glitch there. I saw a teleport move. I'm gonna make sure to hard run out of the way there or I'm in big trouble. Yeah, 
Yeah, I had a feeling I overshot. That time I'm seeing him duped. The easy kill here, put a freeze trap down. We're confused trapped. We did see confused traps were pretty good last time. I might as well just get the free kills. I like that strategy. I don't need to kill all of them, it's just free XP. As long as I go to the next room and team clears out this room, I think I'm good. Nice. Open the team out where I can. Full drive-by freeze trap action. Two, three, spam that fire trap. Any rare? I'm like, no. Power material drop, but not near me. And yeah, since the team is pretty much on point, I'm already ready for the door. That's just a whole bunch of free checks. No red swords for anybody, it seems. But oh well. Let's take the safety heal. Oh, I got invincibility, never mind. Not needed. I didn't believe chat. Worm boss has been letting me down lately. So yeah, I'll probably have... I'll probably request one person to help me with guild checks. But otherwise, two people could go forward. That's for you, Chad. I used uh, three swings of my 10,000 Masetta to kill that boss. That way I don't lose too, too much money, but the boss still dies. Brave man, nice. Yeah, the other thing with red ID is it also can just get really funny box drops. Not like useful, but funny. It is kind of funny to get brave man dropped in the worm boss room. Okay, as long as we clean this up, we should be good. It's up to us if we really want to clear that wave. I probably don't. Yeah, given where the team is, I'll just keep moving. Yeah, I think we can always clear two waves without losing, like, a ton of time. These guys being random sucks. Let me open a way for the group. Put down the confuse trap and walk in a circle. That usually deals with them. With my damage, I should be able to just clean them out real quick like that. Yeah, I have my red handgun for single player play. You could tell I was doing single player with this character before. I was like, yeah. Yeah. She's set up to beat the bosses. Let's see if I get trolled again, or if I can actually just go Brave Man the boss. I don't want to drain my health too quickly, as unless there's an Excalibur stun lock, I'm not guaranteed to uh, do it damageless. I wound myself a little bit. Uh, 
please don't kill me. I'm at the perfect amount of health. Oh, I don't have any souls. Oh, that's awkward. There we go. Now I can dark blow. I guess that worked out in the end. Calculated damage taking. I was worried it was going to double hit me. Your um, goodbye health bar. Yeah, so I think if everybody... I think if one person continues to the next room and then three people help with the claws, I think it goes pretty quickly. I will take that die mate, though. There we go. Yeah, just because the claws are really annoying for hunters to kill. Everything else I could... You know, if you want to stay behind, that's up to you. Because either way, we got to kill some Marlins, so... <laughs> It's, it's really up to you where you felt you could possibly squeeze in more kills. Okay, so clean it up. Okay. Of interest here, sadly. Nice. Just gotta kill the one on the other side. Discovery man, there we go. See, we're getting the namesake. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Time to run. I don't like Excalibur, but it's so good. I like Excalibur. It is a broken item. That triple hit is disgusting. Oh, it's yeah, it's sound effect is a little special. Let's see any spread needles for the group? Damn. Well, we're averaging one Disco of Brave Man per run, which is, as I said before, 120 chances at improved drop rate. I mean, you're, someone's pro it's a coin toss, but generally somebody should see it every run. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know why I shot over there. I thought it was character for some reason. Like positionally on the map. Like no, it's always the same position every time in falls. Cat getting murdered out here. Had a pause trick there because I started targeting. All right, this time I'd like to not get wedged against the boss. So I gotta be careful not to go too much further. Probably clean out this one. Alright, so as long as I stay about here, I should be fine. I gotta walk forward and equip my gun any or my sword anyway. <laughs> I mean Dark Flow is like a gun, but There we go. Now you can see I'm applying some damage. I feel like existing makes it hard to justify using weapons like Yun Chang. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. I don't use Yun Chang at all because that weapon exists. Hunters can sometimes take advantage of it, depending on like the number of enemies. Ooh, I I panic healed. <laughs> yeah, it. I mean, generally, like, Excalibur works on every character. It's super overstated. 
that's definitely like a very overpowered item. But at the same time, I don't know if I miss not having to do Yunchang. I don't even use Yun Chang because we have uh, Gaia. Yeah. Some of this is the same issue, but at least he brought the one tenth mag. True. GG. Now that was fast. Good job. We could do like two more. Or if chat wants to do an RT instead, let me know. Crimson says, I hate using Gaia. I love Gaia. It's a delete button. I feel like for the people that say they spend like 400,000 in a run, I'm like, I think you're just really unprepared like, from stat perspective. Unless you're doing it like to really hard farm something, which is kind of insane. I don't usually use that much on Jaya. It's like, my alternatives are Dark Flow, Vice, and most of the time, it's like, yeah, Jaya will help with, like, Sinnoh rooms, for example. Where I want to potentially freeze them into a Jaya swing. But yeah, just really care. Ever seen the fill title on a weapon before? Welcome, Arcadia. You have a really good Jaya, you just don't care about your Masetta. Yeah. I don't know. Like, they can be... Exp I think they're more expensive in single player compared to multiplayer. I definitely feel like the... Oh, that's rank. I definitely feel like the cost of doing things in single player is really high. But then you play in multiplayer and it's like, oh, I might need 120,000 to complete a full run solo in TTF, right? Like, if I want to die in multiple rooms. Or I spend like 10, 20,000, maybe 30 if I'm feeling generous. Clear a whole quest. Like, oh no, I lost 5k, whatever. Like, it just depends on, you know, group comp. But right now, I'm like, a little bit of ABs, a little bit of hit percentage. Nice. Hmm. Okay, let's do one more TTF, and then I guess we'll do ART, just to say we did it. Sounds like the end of the soundtrack to me. Alright, so let's continue down the music list. So apparently music arrangements was their efforts on that. The GG Shinobi 2, The Silent Fury. That is quite a title. Yeah, like, I see people use it for time attack, for sure, especially if you're Hugh cast. You're like, we everything dies. Yep, see, I'm not surprised Murphy said that. <laughs> Hugh cast just kind of goes, wee, and everything dies. Oh yeah, speaking of which, Hellfleet, we were talking about it before. Where, where do you rate the RT IDs? Now that they've basically settled in, I don't think they're going to change too, too much for them. Ace of Adam, man. I want. Did you get could a Hugh Cast when trying to get a Huni up? Oh, Hugh Cast is like the most godly of characters. Listen, I don't like Hunters, like, a ton. Like, despite me playing Hyuka Seal currently, I like Hyuka Seal for being Hyuka Seal. Not that her stats are, like, super crazy. But from the standpoint of, uh, crowd control, the Hue cast is just... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Getting him up to the true value has been very interesting. Yeah, he's one of those characters where, like, all the accuracy boosters you might be using to level the Hugh New World, you just put it on the Hugh cast and it's hilarious. Give him a give him a real mag instead of the Hugh New World mag. Like it's over. Might as well drain my HP.
I love that he could just solo tower. His, his ATP is not to be underestimated. Like, it is just kind of bonkers. <sighs> did it, like, slightly too late. That time I did it on time. You cast as a special tier? Absolutely. The difference between if you have red ring or not, like, he, he goes from, like, maybe A tier, right, without red ring or the other S parts. Then you get him with the accuracy boost, and it's like, it's over. It's like, it's just, it's unironic. It is just over. It, it is over. He's, he's won the game. Yeah, but the, the thing is, he also has freeze traps, and he has just, like, ridiculous access to damage due to having hunter stuff. So his Berserks are just actual one-shots on everything. It is so hilariously terrible how bad it is for the enemy. Put a happy little Confuse Trap down for free kills there. We're gonna steal that. I think Murphy showed it on stream before, and then Murphy reminded me again. The Confuse Trap there is just extra kills. There's no reason to not do that, because that doesn't any time, because I'd normally put a trap down there anyway, which would be a freeze trap. He's a level 1, but I'm lazy. They they have a little bit of an awkward phase with leveling, and then, like, somewhere around, like, 130, they're just like, wow, they're just better than every character already. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I gave the proper advice in my guide for Hugh Casil. I think she's really solid, for example, in anything that requires accuracy, or anything that needs a mix of accuracy and damage for a hunter. So she ends up enjoying a lot of things like temple runs, for example, because she can hit the hell and also do the damage. Oh, there we go, we got Helkley's List. Let's see if I agree with Helkley's List. Oop. Cancel my Telepipe. Yellow Viridia, blue, purple, orange. You know what's really funny about that, Hellcleave? Do you want to know what's funny about your list? You forgot an ID. And I know you forgot an ID because I forgot that was an ID that in RT. I was like, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. So I think we're basically in agreement. Yeah, I, I would agree with that order, I think. Yellow, yellow, Viridian, Blue, for sure, with RT. I think about Purple and Orange a little bit. Yeah, Pink has, like, the early drops and then nothing. I wish... Th I, their best farms just aren't in the quests, which is so sad. Because they actually have, like, fantastic CCA, but they have just, like, legit nothing in RT. It's so sad. Pink Flame Hunt's still a thing. Uh, I'm assuming people still do it. I think with more things like Sky ID lames being available now in Underground, I feel like people, at least during events, did not really play a lot of Pink. But I think there's always going to be that uh, the Pink Hunts. Yeah, that quest is so much value on top of lame that I'm I'm not surprised. Oh, I'm actually on time for once. Alright, we're gonna do a little trick I like to call the circle. You draw a circle around the room and then all the enemies jump out of your way miracle <laughs> with a, like a miracle, because they're confused. I'm wait for the team. I don't want to get ahead of the team here. Yeah, I mean, Pink ID, when you do that run, it has Jiska, Brave Man, Jaya, and Lame in the same hunt, from what I remember, due to box rares. Which is very silly, I would just like to say. I was like, oh right, they can get Jaya from boxes for some reason here. Okay. Well, there's your value hunt.
And I think that's also why going through and, you know, double checking, you know, what items are dropped in what area has helped give me a little better idea as to, like, the true strength of the runs. Like, I always knew about pink having, like, amplifiers and barriers, right? But the fact that it gets Jaya in certain locations is just really funny to me. <laughs> like, oh, uh, well, they really wanted to make sure you had a good time in this location. I'm in. <clears throat> Pressed it too early. There we go, that's what I'm doing. Like giant blue forest two boxes, exactly. There's just like randomly good value. So I, I think most of their good value is in boxes, which is kind of unfortunate with how Affinia is set up just because Affinia awards monster drops. Like their box drops are actually like shockingly good, but it's just in, in ways that people might not realize, but it's just one of those things where, you know, when you're in a special event, I don't think you really want to be playing pink ID. For the most part, it's due to how those things work. Is there a special event on right now? Nope. Sorry, Promethean. We'll do Scarlet Realm tomorrow. They did update the quest. Give it a little more time. Oh, there's my Disco Brave Man. See, chat? We average one every run now in TTO. <laughs> so silly. Like, the, the facts don't lie here. I don't care about sample size. You have so many chances of getting them. You even get chan a chance for two. Oh, uh, speaking of which, <laughs> just, okay. I mean, listen, chat. Those are just Disco chances. I'm just getting them. It's easy. I mean, they weren't good. I mean, you get an Arlen for free no matter what there. It's so funny. Hope you're doing well, Promethean. I have no idea why I didn't freeze trap there. That was silly of me. We'll go for one last chance for spread needles for the group. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the group also just ignored some discus that are bad. But yeah, we, we've averaged at this point more than one per run, which is very funny. Aw, uh, doesn't look like any spread needles dropped. Fortunate. Sure, I'll take a third skip though. Nice. Yeah, especially with drop rate up. I mean, you have to think about it this way. If it's 1 in 215 normally and you get a 25% boost, like, it does add up. Um, uh, I'm at a weird amount of health. Is that a monolith? Oh, that should be good. Hopefully you're doing well, Promethean. Yeah, orange could get like the cheeky uh, daylight saber or daylight scar, excuse me. Otherwise, I wasn't like super thrilled with their drops. I think I would just honestly rather have the L and K like every time looking over the list. Uh, I feel kind of sick at the moment. I'm surprised I'm not sniffling more. I've been trying to avoid consciously doing that while streaming because that can get annoying. Yeah, we'll, we'll be ending stream soonish. We'll do like one RT or something. Probably yellow ID. Oh, that was almost really dumb. So I, I looked at it and didn't shoot. I don't know what I was thinking there. Like, oops, brain fart. We're lucky it's gonna go towards me and I could get a dark flow hit, but I'm not expecting much here. 
Yeah, special event probably won't be for two weeks, because it starts, like, pretty much at the tail end. Go hard right? I mean, even if I die in the next swipe, I don't know if it matters. I have some time to figure out my hotkeys again, because I haven't played in a bit. i say it's... Down is I'd prefer not to try mate. I can avoid it. Oh, whatever, I just hit this one. There we go, nice kill. Good job, team. <laughs> Dead already? So red, if nothing else, gives me the illusion that I'm getting a lot of value, because there's a lot of discovery event drops like every single time. We have two hard ofs to go for. There's technically Ubers in the run as well with Lavis Cannon, and the super, super off chance uh, Psycho One. So I'm like, I'm kind of happy with it. Oh, Disco Raymans. Almost worth picking up. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna do RT. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in the big gun. <laughs> Another S rank. Look at us go, chat. We did it. And because, <laughs> I guess it's a plus side if you play Red ID and you kill the extra enemies, you just get S-rank all the time. Hey, look at that, I made money. Well, anyway, time to, uh, play the deleter. I'm gonna bring in a classic yellow ID character, who has grown to be one of my favorites. I was worried when I first made him that there was nothing I really wanted to do with him in yellow ID, because I was like, oh. You know, it looks like it has a decent episode 4, and I'm like, oh, I wasn't so sold on his episode 1. And then it was like, oh, then we found Endless. <laughs> and then I started taking him into episode 2. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh no, I have so many badges to put away, chat. Oh boy. Well, I have to figure out what character has to hold them. I still have so many left over from the event. I could put the gold one away, but that's about it. I'll make the game as yellow ID. Rockcast is definitely my favorite character in RT so far, no contest. I could see myself playing Hughcast into it. I think it would be fine, but I just like the bazooka more. Dealing with like Al Griffin or Dragon. Or Warm Boss. Oof, can't even put those away. What a menagerie of items. Oh, that's right, I gave him my hit percentage Heaven Striker. Hmm. What a thing of beauty. Also, chat, I really need to find a better Cannon Rouge. <laughs> like, this, like, come on, can we all say this is sad? Like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Just, it might as well be all zeroed. So we have two raw casts. Not sure if Imperameter is bringing in something in particular. Honestly, with how strong our group is, if you just wanted to bring in a raw moral or something, that's also fine. For people trying to decide characters. Like, if Imperameter goes Ranger, we really don't need a Force. Force is good and all, but like, Quadra Ranger is stupid. 15 I got in a trade isn't much better. I refuse to buy a better one. Mm. Yeah, this character, like, I just want to, like, bare min hit Cannon Rouge so I can pretend he's a Ramar. <laughs> or Ramar, excuse me. He, 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 needs, he needs a little more, like, 20 to get up to Ramar, but, you know. It's all about that Zalor. Kind of, yeah, I guess. I think if we stack a uh, Photon Blast, we don't even we don't even need to lure the final boss. 
But as long as we have okay buffs, we can abuse with uh, Cannon Rouge. That's all up to you, Murphy. We have uh, Raw Moral and two Raw Cast. That gives me a good opportunity to switch into a really nice soundtrack that chat may or may not have heard before. We'll let chat guess this one, because we played it like five times, I think, on stream. Why watch out for high damage percentage over buying hit ones at the moment? Yeah, I was kind of hoping at least for like an A-Beast one. Streets of Rage, which one in Parameter? There's more than one. Let's see if we can get the exact number, but it is the correct series. <laughs> First, the space means what a troll. Leventine, damn, you're right, it's Leventine. Parameter very close with the two. <laughs> but no, it is two. <laughs> This is Go Straight, the song. Then it's Go Straight 2 for song number two. Yeah, Use of Culture Hero is played very often on the stream. In fact, we played this game on stream. And then we played remakes of set. Oh, why'd I go right? Then I played remakes of this game that have that song. So we've heard it several times. It is a nice song. Might as well as box check. It is yellow ID. As a reminder, box checking on yellow ID on most areas will either literally give you a barrier of interest or an amplifier of, intra of interest. So I will be doing all box checks here. While we're on the way through. I'm not even going to care about killing enemies. I'm going to say good luck, team. Gotcha. Oh, no barriers this time. What a shame. It's true. You never go straight on the stage. You actually you actually also even go up and down. <laughs> Cuz you you walk along the long corridor which goes diagonal at one point. Title theme is a line. of Charge Vulcan, but I decided to. It's felt right in the moment, chat. Yeah, this... Yeah, this is probably one of the two games I think of when I think of this composer. Go straight to is now on. Time to regen some HP. We're gonna do the wall hug strat. Oh, nice random photon drop. I crit that, that would have killed. <laughs> Just saw who Calvision banned. That is quite, quite a name. Thank you, Calvision. That is interesting. Speaking of interesting, time to Cannon Rouge. Love 
Band of Rouge in this area. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna stay on the right, or is it gonna go in front? Let's see, chat, are we gonna get the glitch? What's it gonna do today? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Playing peekaboo. Do you think they'll ever patch this boss chat in Affinia? Like, this is clearly one of the most broken bosses in the game. Can we all agree? Like, this, there's no way this is working as intended. I'm gonna stand in the corner here, so I'm gonna set the par paralyzed one. I'm gonna move a little bit, then I'm gonna go to the opposite corner. Yeah, th that to me is like the weirdest thing that is still in Affinia. No, like, when this boss, if this boss glitches downwards, okay, it didn't this time, but sometimes it does, and that wastes a ton of time. Yeah, like, see, we killed it there, because we didn't get the bad glitch. That wastes time. Like, it literally adds like seven or eight seconds of the boss fight when that happens. Yeah. Oh, Calvisham's just going wild now. He's going mad with power. Oh, did you find a bot list, Calvisha? Is that what happened? Oh, we gotta do the lineup Olympics. I was gonna say, wait, Body Six is a real person. Alvisham going too bad with power. Oh, my lineup Olympic game is whack today. Long game. I don't think I lined that up properly. Oh. Kind of. Close enough. Oh. <gasps> got that glitch where the button icon says I could teleport, but it doesn't teleport me. I hate that so much. The icon lied to me, chat. I couldn't teleport. <laughs> it lied. Oh, PSO indicators. You're so buggy. I believe in you, chat. You can murder the Golgus. Fine, I'll kill it. <laughs> Belief over. <laughs> Just, it's like, wait a minute. I'm not waiting on this. Ooh, we're gonna come up to my favorite freeze trap in the game. It, I don't think it's any any bit efficient, but I love doing it. So this room is gonna have a pan arms. I'm gonna spawn the pan arms. I'm gonna go in between the pan arms and the wall, and I'm gonna put a freeze trap. I'm gonna wait for it, like, right here. And then if I do that, I could shoot the freeze trap and hit the dub switch, which is what I did there. It's very dumb. <laughs> like, it, it technically means I have to shoot one less time, but when we have three raw casts, it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Spoilers. The other thing I like doing is trap shooting with the bazooka. It doesn't make it hard to miss it. Not gonna say it's impossible, but it's in your favor. Oh, I might have to briefly switch into a different weapon. How sad. Fine, I'll frozen shooter. Okay, the goal is to be around 70 meter by the end of the next area. We still have a boss fight to do. Come here, gold dragon. Oh. Make it invincibility. You know what? That's fine. More meter for me. Hi, right, Chad, I view this as a win-win. That bot's actually d got deleted. Holy. Ooh, land on me? Aww. Uh, I only... I only got hit once before Rista hit me. That's unfortunate. 
<laughs> We're like, darn, we did too well. The dragon didn't land on us in build meter. Oh, well. I'm basically just going to use Vulcans. I'm not going to bother using Hell. Yeah, I'm at 51 meter right now, which is so good. I'm, I'm going to be guaranteed one of the people that adds the buffs. And it's like not that much slower with using Hell. Like obviously Hell Needle will save time, but if you're just using Hell Handgun, I don't think the time loss really matters. I almost have it. I could in theory Hell Handgun if I had it. No. So I do a V502 equip. Everything dies in a combo, so as long as I kill in a combo, on. Not how I wanted it to aim, but that's fine. All that a learning experience. Yeah, normal power power is good enough to hit here. It's kind of nice. I could stay kind of in the middle of the beach for coverage. Yeah, see, we're already at 58 meter. We're, we're doing pretty good. Oh, chat took over my spot. I gotta move slightly. Gotta go right back to the middle anyway. You know what? Just need like 5 ATP, damn. I can wait over here, it doesn't super matter what I do here. So I'm basically perfect with where I'm going to be. I'm going to do the side check, even though it's not as good in yellow ID, because blue ID at least gets to be 501. It's just an excuse to kill more enemies and let the chat build more meter. In fact, I could even let him punch me a couple times just to build meter. That was my other secret tech. Also, apparently in the patch notes, they stop us from damage canceling on destroying objects, so maybe we'll notice it. There we go. Not up to like 66 meter. Plus we're gonna be uh, possibly just completely deleting Griffin before it gets to land. Poor Griffin. Ooh, no buffs. Charge. I can still combo kill, I just gotta be less greedy about it. There we go. And all cleaned up. See, so yeah, I'm basically gonna be where I need to be. We're all just gonna hold still, face to the right, and unleash the volley of death upon this poor Gal Griffin. <laughs> I expect it to go to 1500. I'm expecting we're going to do 50% on the drive-by, just straight up, if everybody bazookas. Damage is kind of bonkers. Let's witness. Aww. Oh, more tanky than I thought. On the plus side, though... As long as I don't get targeted here, I should be able to do a lot of damage. There we go. Good hit. Good hit. <sighs> Walked just out of my range. Damn, it would have died there if it didn't do that. Bit fly. It's already dead. I'm gonna revive the team. Oh yeah, tornado is like an insta kill. Don't forget, tornado. Tornado gives you the the deep hugs. Let's see if we get a galatine here. 
Oh, no Galatine. Drops a lore. Ew. Okay, so I gotta build up meter for the rest of the area. If only knew we could survive Tornado, true. Let's see, I have until the end of the stage to build meter. I might take one chainsaw. Oh yeah, it's very good at helping with meter, but then when you die awkwardly, it's like, oh. <laughs> I I wanted to make sure not everybody was embracing the tornado. <laughs> so it's like I should just kill this boss. Yeah, usually whoever is the designated hell person can just donate, so that, that's a good choice. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down. Now I have time to build meter. Oh, that lined up well. Too slow. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. I don't really feel like killing you. Speaking of meter. I also get meter back in this room by killing the optional ones. It is really hard snapping. I swear I'm holding left and the game is like, no. Oh, please. See, so yeah, I'll build meter. As long as one other person has meter, I think we'll be fine. Assuming Chris is building it, Murphy might also have it. Yeah, we've learned that for uh, Photon Blast is not needed. As long as we end up with like the right number, quote unquote, should be good. So I should probably take a chainsaw hit here. The downside with Oops All Rangers is that uh, <laughs> it also means that the meter is not 100 by this point. It's like they're actually just too good. <laughs> like just Alright, I'm gonna take damage on here on purpose. I gotta wait anyway for the group. Then I can spam some freeze traps here. Ooh. Just going in without waiting for freeze. That is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down. I took the damage on purpose. <laughs> Oops, all rangers, yeah, all rangers, pretty much. See John, you gotta you gotta decide when to take the damage. So it's like, you know what? The safe point was on the far right side of the wall, but I'm like, I'm feeling a little behind in meter. Why don't I just take like 1400 damage to the face? Now I'm at 87 meter, so I save time while still freeze trapping. Speaking of which, I put a freeze trap right here. Should be spawn now. Oop, yeah, I got him. have him either it freezes him in the air or it freezes him when he gets to the column either way it helps me position for the kill i consider that a win-win so we're 91 or 90 meter why do they have the our sound effect in the soundtrack it's in the game but i didn't think it was literally part of the song Weird choice. Okay, so we gotta build 8 meter between now and the end of the area. I could probably get hit by chainsaws. Welcome, Pika Wood. Hope you're doing well. Somebody triggered the uh, turret on me. Got baited. Do the box check that never rewards me. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't shoot the doorway. Never rewarded. I'm at 93 meter, which is not too bad. I'll take that power material. My material was sadly much further back. So I might have to take a chainsaw blade, which is not bad. As I said before, our goal was to always be here by like 19 minutes with meter. As long as I build the meter here, I'm fine. I can even just take the damage like this. I need to get hit one more time. 
now mid 98. We're pretty much at the perfect meter amount. There we go. I was gonna say, I like the version without the trunk sound effects. So I'm gonna say twins. Oh no, the delay. I should have said using twins, my bad. It'd be interesting. What? You... Why was I not able to open the menu there? Did you see that? Also forgot Heaven Striker. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, we might have a legit battle. Yeah, I said twins, but I, I meant using twins. So I was like, oops, I definitely realized I should have typed using. I blame not being awake. That's why I'm gonna go get rest right after the stream. Oh okay, yeah, we still got it in one cycle. On my screen, some people got level 20 buffs, which is interesting. I'm gonna switch to Charge Vulcan. I'm gonna go greet the, sh the blinky shiny light. Yeah, I was like near the warp and it wouldn't let me open the menu. Maybe because of the desync of the mag blast, it was canceling it. I'm assuming that's what happened. There we go. See that? Apparently we only need two. We only need 41. I'm a ghost. Actually bonkers. So yeah, definitely one hell user, one force user with PB create. Let's see. I can see him getting away with that. Is having level 45 shift does probably good enough? But if we're playing literally all raw cast, don't really care. Uh, I only have 41 on my screen. I got robbed. Take the money though. Big boys team, pretty much. On my screen, everyone is 67. Yeah. Nah, I got I got hard hard ripped off. Rip my buffs. But hey, at least somebody had a super buff. <laughs> Synchro, exactly. The irony of Synchro being desynchronized. Oops, I mashed too hard there. Wow, SS! Alright! Right, yeah, pretty much. Oh wow, this character is actually gonna level get there eventually. Yes, I'll restock since this is my final run. Yeah, we'll be playing uh, more tomorrow after we do a little bit of the guide. I'm gonna copy what Hellcleave said and compare to what I actually wrote earlier. For RT. I'm curious if I'll we'll arrive to the same conclusion with RT. I think we're closer alignment in RT. Not sure if I... I'm not sure where I rate pink. Think about that a bit more. I fell down my healing items when that run. Nice. There's definitely no RT, no uh, Parasite Gene Flow slash RT rewards. But hey, I mean, that's usually what happens when you do these runs. Take the money, though. So let's talk a little bit, yeah. 
think is very specialized. Yeah, pink's kind of a weird case where I think it could be way better than what it is. If it wasn't for the fact that all of pink's best drops are just not in RT. Because they have, like, amazing jungle, but it's like... You're fighting, like, what, Geese on a robot? It's like, uh, Right, chat? Just, uh. I mean, technically you can get, uh... You really want Sinnoh Barrel's arms. You go to Pink ID for that. But yeah, it's like people are just not gonna do it. Like, you get V501 from both Viridian and Blue, which is kind of nice in the same area when we're talking about specifically RT. And Pink getting Heavenly HP isn't like the worst drop, for example. But yeah. Like, you're not really going to be excited about V501 from Del Depths, because they're not really a thing in RT. And then Sinnoh Zell, it's like, okay, you get a chance at a Psycho Wand underground. The Monkey King bar is the only thing that kind of saves Pink ID in uh, Seabed, unfortunately. I think the rest of their stuff is just terrible. Like, why do they have a Storm Wall? Oh, I guess because it's on Recon. But, okay, why do they have a Flowin' Sword <laughs> on Sidozoa? Am I missing something about this Flowin' Sword? Yeah, it's not even the real one. Like, why is that even a thing for them? <laughs> Can't you give them something a little better than Flowin' Sword 3077 there? And an effort work, thanks everyone. Well, thank you for joining us, Murphy. I think overall, like, we did the, uh, we did the RBR. And I think the first quest I would be more willing to play again, even though it had some dead space, as long as you telepipe, it wouldn't be too bad. I think the other quest is just too... It's just too open. It's one of those things where there's a lot of rooms, but not a lot happens in them. Where, like, at least the first quest we did for the mop up Operation 4, that one was more, like... The switches were out of the way, but the enemies were mostly clumped together, so as long as you telepipe, it's not as bad. Still not something I would, like, recommend to do, but it's nice to, like, mix it in there every now and then. Yeah, I didn't like the episode 4 quest making you go all the way back. That felt really bad. Like, even if you knew to do that, it just... Just the structure of it. Like, you want to just go forward in a quest, right? Or take a detour and get items. Instead of going in a big circle back to the entrance, this feels pretty bad. I don't know what they were thinking with that. But yeah, I think next time, chat, look forward to uh, more guide work and Scarlet Realm before we do other sorts of runs that the chat desires. But other than that, chat, I don't think I have too much add, too much to add to this video specifically. I think from the standpoint of PSO, we'll be taking it easy. I don't know if I'll play it next week. Before the event starts, but from the standpoint of casual play, I think it was okay with today. So with that chat, I'm gonna say, I guess, goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the bot, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again in the next parts.